So before we begin today, I'd like to give a little shout out and a thank you to all of the listeners and especially the ones that have reached out to me. I've gotten really sweet messages um, through my email and through Instagram. And I just want to say thank you so much. All the messages mean the world to me. I've been able to respond to each and every one of them. And it really warms my heart knowing that people are listening and that this is something that is empowering to people out there. That really is my intention. So words like those, emails like those, keep them coming. I'm always receptive to reading them and responding. Those words make me so happy and getting to see them and to connect with my listeners means the world. So thank you all for listening. And I do want to mention that I have a free ebook that I'm giving away, my top 10 fertility boosting tips. And these are tips that I suggest to my patients that come in. Um, These are tips that I find really, really important. So they really are my top 10 tips. And I put it together in an ebook and it's free for you today. And you can go to www.thewholesomelotus.com to pick up your copy. Episode number 45 of the Wholesome Fertility Podcast. Welcome to the Wholesome Fertility Podcast. I'm Michelle, a fertility acupuncturist here to provide you with resources on how to create a wholesome approach to your fertility journey. So today I want to talk about going clean. Um, And what does that mean? There are a lot of hidden toxins in products as well as pesticides and foods and a lot of those toxins can impact fertility health. And there are so many different things. If It feels at first like you're climbing an uphill battle. But once you get educated and once you see it, it's a lot easier than it seems. So one of the challenges to making these decisions to become more clean with your products and the food that you're eating is, first of all, not knowing where to start. And secondly, that it's more expensive. So I'm here to say that there are ways to do this without feeling those two as being big issues. It's going to be a little bit more expensive to do organic food, but there are ways around that. And one of them is you can actually buy frozen organic vegetables. And when you're buying frozen, it actually keeps the vegetables and the fruits, because they do also frozen fruits, Um, at their prime, which means that they're not sitting out in a produce section and wilting or having that chance to. They're frozen at the best, best time to eat them. And when you defrost them or cook them, which actually with fertility, I always suggest to cook vegetables and not to have too many raw foods So it's good to cook it, not overly cook it, cook it enough where it doesn't lose too many of its vitamins and you actually have a really good nutritious food. You could do this with frozen spinach, you could do it with frozen peas, you you could do it with frozen broccoli or cauliflower or asparagus. You'll find so many different frozen organic vegetables. Not have to worry about using it too quickly and also make stews with it. So that's a really great way to do it where it's not going to be that much more expensive as if you bought it fresh. Same thing with fruits. You can use them for your smoothies. So have smoothies, but maybe not make them too cold. You can kind of let them sit out for a little while and defrost before having them because you don't want to bring in too much cold in the system. Like I've always mentioned before, it, it draws in cold into your system and that's not good for fertility. You want a warm womb, you don't want to bring too much cold into your channels, so that's something to avoid. So those are just two things that I want to start with, but since we're starting with food, I want to talk about something called the Dirty Dozen. And the Dirty Dozen are a list of fruits and vegetables that are really essential to buy organic because they're a little bit more absorbent of the chemicals and pesticides. So the list for 2019 is 
here. So I'm going to go ahead and, and mention those. And I also want to mention that, that there are going to be a couple of other ones that were added to it, but including hot peppers. So I'll start with that. So hot peppers, strawberries, um, strawberries tend to absorb a lot of the pesticides. So strawberries, spinach. So that's really good. You can get that frozen. Kale, um, you can also get that frozen organic easy. Nectarines. Apples, grapes, peaches, cherries, um, cherries, they have great frozen organic cherries that you can get, add them in a smoothie as long as you defrost them, pears, tomatoes, celery, and potatoes, potatoes especially, they really absorb a lot because they're in the soil. And when the soil has pesticides, it really gets into the potato. So this is a list of especially important fruits and vegetables that you want to make sure are organic. But I would recommend that if you're trying to get pregnant, avoid pesticides altogether. That's super important. Another thing that I find very important, and it's something that everybody should really pay attention to, is EMFs or radiation. So we live at a time where we're using Wi-Fi, cell phones, so many different things. And there are certain stickers that you can put on your cell phones that supposedly take away radiation. I'm not really sure if it works or doesn't work. I use it anyway, just in case. However, I don't even put the phone next to my body at all. I will not have my phone anywhere near my body or my ear especially. So I either have a headset when speaking to somebody or put them on speaker. And if I absolutely have to put it next to my ear because I don't have that option, I move it a couple of inches from my ear so I can hear them, but I'm not putting it right up against my ear. I especially go crazy when I see pregnant women putting it on their bellies it's a no-no. So I would say definitely be careful of that. Another thing is if you're going to go to bed, a lot of times people use their phones as alarm clocks. So I would suggest keep your phone on airplane mode if it has to be your alarm clock. It's not going to change the time. You're going to still be able to use it as an alarm clock, but you should not be sleeping next to a cell phone that's active. If it's on airplane mode, then it's offline with Wi-Fi and cellular. So I would definitely suggest removing that. Um, there are a couple of things that they sell. There are certain um, stones that are also considered to help with radiation. There is one called Shungite. It's S-H-U-N-G-I-T-E. And that stone is supposed to neutralize electromagnetic radiation. So that's something to look into. They sell that on Amazon. They even actually make little stickers of those. They, they make round discs. They cut them in, into round discs and with stickers in the back so you could put it on your phone. I've used it before. What I did was instead of sticking it, if you don't want to stick it on your phone, you just take it with a sticker on. Don't take it off. And then just put it between your phone and your um, cover or a phone case and it should keep it in place and it's just a little extra something so that's something or you want to put it next to your computer um, it's something to look for look into I don't know if there's science behind it or studies but it is something that is considered to be one of the stones that neutralizes the impact of electromagnetic radiation so you can look into that now we spoke about radiation it is definitely something that you want to consider and you want to think about. There's also orgon pyramids um, that you can put in your room that supposedly absorb radiation. Like I said, I don't know the science behind it, but I'm just letting you know what's out there. Something to think about. Orgone is spelled O-R-G-O-N-E. Um, but the best thing that you could do is if you can possibly just use wires 
rather than Wi-Fi, but I know that's not realistic. So, you know, I understand that it's not always possible, but for sure, the cell phone, you want to make sure that you are not having a cell phone, not just near your bed, but anywhere in the room, really, that is connected. Unless there's some kind of emergency where people have to reach you, most of the time, you don't really need to be contacted in the middle of the night. So at that point, you can leave it on airplane mode and still use your alarm clock and not have to get radiation at night. So the last thing I want to talk about is something called xenoestrogens. And that can be found in a lot of products that we use. So there's certain things called parabens, which are actually have been found in estrogen-sensitive breast cancer cells in the tumors. And parabens are xenoestrogens. And the body doesn't understand whether it's a real estrogen or a fake estrogen. And it really messes up the hormone balance in the body. And a lot of times that has been linked to fertility challenges. So just having people get off of those and cleaning up their environmental toxins has changed their endocrine system. So the endocrine system is basically your hormone system in your body, and it is super, super delicate. And it's programmed to notice every little nuance because if it's too much of one thing, then the brain tells our body to shut it off. And it has something called a negative feedback. So if it realizes that there's too much of something, then it'll produce less of it just so that we can stay in homeostasis. So we talk about the yin and the yang in Chinese medicine, which is a very, very easy way to understand it. In Western medicine, it's homeostasis. It's the same exact thing. The body just always wants to revert to balance. And so if it realizes or believes because it's synthetic, the body can't recognize it. So when something's synthetic, it can confuse the body because the body can only recognize natural elements in the world. But unfortunately, we have a lot of man-made elements and chemicals that are not recognizable from the body's perspective. So it throws off the hormone balance and confuses the body. And so these are things that can be found with plastics, um, something called BPA, which has been discovered to affect your hormone balance as well and, and to disrupt, not only disrupt and your endocrine system, but it also has been linked to birth defects as well. So it's super, super important to avoid. And nowadays they do have plastics that are BPA free. My perspective on this is I would avoid plastics altogether because that's just one thing that they discovered with plastic and plastic tends to leach and who knows you know if these companies that have plastic bottles of water have have those plastic bottles of water before they've reached the store sat in a really warm hot warehouse you don't know that um and at that point that's the worst thing that you could do is drink from a hot bottle that was left in your car because Plastic melts and it melts at various degrees. And even though it doesn't melt where you can see the actual plastic container change, it's got to melt or leach in some way or some form. So this is something that you want to just become aware of. Now they have great alternatives. They have stainless steel containers. They have glass containers with silicon encasing so that it doesn't break and it's protected and you can find a lot of those non-toxic containers online on amazon um, they have something called the detox market which i list in my resources on my website which is www.thewholesomelotus.com in my fertility resources i list a lot of different places that you can buy clean and the, anything that you buy at the detox market will not have all of those xenoestrogens. I can go ahead and list all of them, but it's going to be very, very hard to uh, pronounce and 
not only pronounced, but also what it sounds like is not what it looks like. And then it's a whole list of what to look for. So I find that the easiest way to do this is just going to places that will have what you need and you know that they're clean. So looking for places like that is a lot easier than knowing exactly what to look for. Knowing exactly what to look for is important if you're going to mainstream places, but it makes it a lot easier if you look in places that you know you don't have to think. And that's why I listed that as a resource because it's somewhere you can go and you know that the products are clean. Another thing is deodorant and also pads. A lot of them have plastic. So these are all important things and you're putting it where? The closest place to your uterus. I mean, it's a, the best avenue for it to travel up there. So those are all things to just think about. And I did want to just have a little talk about that so that you can just become a little bit more aware of what you're doing or what is impacting your body and your endocrine system and how sensitive it really is to picking up all those little details and it can get confused because, for example, I live here in Miami Beach and we have turtles and the turtles have a really hard time migrating and after they are born and one of the ways for them to do that is to follow the light of the moon and the problem today is that we have artificial light and it's confusing for them. So here in Miami Beach, they actually turn off the lights in the building at night so that the turtles do not get confused, which I'm really happy to hear that there's a little bit more consciousness towards that. But the point that I'm trying to make and the reason I'm using this as an example is that nature is programmed perfectly. And one little disruption can be so confusing and can really throw off the ecology of not only nature, but your body. And our bodies are the same. They work just the same as the external environment. So when people first hear about this, they feel a little overwhelmed because they're like, well, what do I buy? Everything's toxic. Everything's a problem. Yeah, you know, it is a little bit of an uphill battle, but it's actually not that hard. You just look for resources that'll help you out. And there's also something called Think Dirty. It's an app that you can get and download. And that's a great resource as well because it checks every single thing. So if you are going to a mainstream store and you want to look up what that ingredient, you know, if it has any kind of ingredients that you need to avoid, that is a great app. You can have it on your phone. It's with you everywhere and you can look up whatever you need. So as you see, it really comes down to education, educating yourself on what products are better for you, better for your body, what you're putting in. And even in Ayurveda, they say, they have a saying, which I guess in modern day world is impractical or it's more difficult to achieve. But they say for the skincare, they usually use things like yogurt, avocado, oils, and they say if you can't eat it, you shouldn't put it on your skin. So obviously, that is a really tough thing to practice, but the point to be made is that your skin, just like any other part of your body, absorbs a lot, and a lot of the toxins or anything that comes from external environmental pollution is going to enter your body through the skin. So it is something that you want to think of. You can't avoid everything. You can't avoid just the pollution that is happening now in general. You can't avoid that. But what you can do is help yourself out with the things that you really put a lot closer to yourself, which is your products and where you drink your water from, eating clean and organic along with avoiding radiation. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. My contact information is on my website. You can go ahead and send me any questions that you have. I absolutely love hearing from the listeners. I've had some great feedback and I love hearing how 
this has impacted your life. And until next time, have a beautiful day. So that concludes today's episode. You can find all the links mentioned on the episode notes. If you're enjoying these episodes, please take a moment to leave a review. Reviews are everything to podcasters. You can find me on my website at www.thewholesomelotus.com. And please be on the lookout for my online course and program. This course has emerged from everything that I've been using for the fertility program I now offer at my office. I wanted to consolidate all of my suggestions and coaching and put it into a form that anyone can purchase and use. It was important for me to encompass key fertility health factors as well as guide you in implementing changes in your routine that are shown to boost fertility while being realistic and user-friendly. I will be offering this course with and without coaching. If you're interested and want updates as well as a free ebook on my top 10 fertility boosting habits, you can visit my fertility page on www.thewholesomelotus.com where you can find the subscription form. I thank you so much for listening in and hope you have a beautiful day.